Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here, and today we have another gameplay commentary. So today I want to um, talk a little bit about the mouse and keyboard versus the controller debate. The reason why I am doing this video is because of my PlayStation 4 video, where I said that the PlayStation 4 might have um, possible mouse and keyboard support, and we had a little comment war going on. So um, I thought I might, I might just clear some things out and compare those two devices and talk a little bit more about um, which one is going to be easier or which one is going to be harder and you might actually be surprised or maybe you're not but we will see so first of all let's talk about the right thumbstick of the controller and the mouse which are basically the thing you will be using for aiming and i think the mouse is the clear winner because you're not bound to a certain um to a certain sensitivity to a certain maximum or minimum speed on the controller you kind of have the trait either you're fast and you can turn on people or you're slow and you're and you're accurate but you never really can have both of them at the same time of course you can go with kind of medium sensitivity but you you will be lacking the the, the maximum abilities the peak kind of and with a mouse you don't really have the problem you can you can kind of go with whatever you want and you're only bound to your desk space and um, to the ability of how fast your arm can move on the other hand if we're talking about the um, keyboard and the left thumbstick. The left thumbstick is actually um, the, the finer device. So, for example, if you um, have to sneak or if you, I don't know, if you're doing cinematics, it's a lot smoother to do that with a controller. Um, it's a lot more um, harder. Like the, the movements with a with a keyboard are just harder because you only have the the buttons and the keys. On the other hand, yet again, um, you can program basically everything and. Just the general stuff is a lot more accessible. For example, on a controller on the console, you're spotting on select or back, and on the keyboard, you can spot with Q or you just can program to program it to something else like Alt or something or just whatever button you want. And so it's also a lot more customizable. So um, the keyboard really wins when it comes to um, having the abilities. Also, the mouse wins there. The controller is kind of the yeah, the controller is actually holding you back again. If you, that's if you are getting not rewarded for, I don't know, being sneaky or something or doing cinematics. But um, now let's talk a little bit more about which one is actually better. Or, well, we kind of figured it out. But which one is harder to play with, or which one is easier to play with? And yes, you are more accurate with the mouse. However, it is not easier to play on PC just because you are more accurate. Because everyone is more accurate. Everyone has the same device, everyone's playing with a mouse and keyboard. It will be a fair scenario. You're giving the same device to two people and they're playing against each other. It is a fair scenario. Again, on the console, if you're playing console, uh, controller versus controller, the people are having the same devices. It is a fair scenario. The only thing I noticed, and I've played console and PC both for a really long time. I've, uh, I've been playing uh, shooters with both um, devices or both systems. And the thing I noticed is on console, everything is a little bit slower. Or maybe it's just faster on PC, just however you would like to call it. But um, you, yes, aiming is a little bit more difficult, but... Again, everyone has the same device, which makes it equal. Also, due to the fact that there's more time between everything. So, it's, it's just the fact that, that the gameplay on console is slower because you're limited by the controller. You will have more time to escape if you're getting shot, so you won't die as fast. You have more time to line up your own shots or to, to shoot for yourself, to just, um, to just do the whole firefight, which again will make will make you a little bit more accurate and I can see why um, people maybe want to have a, a I don't know, one hit kill sniper for the console because it is a little bit harder to aim that's true but you also have lots more time to aim you have lots more time to kill you have lots more time to live and to uh, avoid firefights or to run out of firefights or something and on the co on the PC with mouse and keyboard it's a little bit different because everyone's aiming faster and it's it's kind of the, the same on the same level, neither of them is harder or neither of them is easier. It's the exact same scenario, believe me and trust me, I've played both of them. And yet again, it, I don't know how, how, what else I should say, because it, it really is the same. And if you have played on both devices, console and PC, 
please um, let me know, post a comment in the comment section down below and tell everyone what your experiences were. And also I would like you to leave out stuff like um, stuff like input lag because we all know that Battlefield 3 had some input lag on the consoles and in general the, the consoles were too old for Battlefield 3 so keep that in mind. Um, don't talk only about Battlefield, maybe I don't know, about the COD or um, older Battlefields. Um, for example Batwing 2 was working a lot better on consoles. And yeah, I think this pretty much wraps it up for this commentary. So I hope you enjoyed the video and like Skill Faker out.